left-wing virtue spiral continues without apparent end. Do you remember sanctuary cities? Those are not enough any longer. Oakland, California's city council just passed a resolution calling on employers to become what they're calling sanctuary workplaces, places that refuse to report potential immigration violators. Keep in mind, though, that it's illegal for companies to knowingly employ people here who are without documentation, who are illegal. So is Oakland calling for collective defiance of federal law? It seems that way. Dan Kalb is an Oakland City Councilman. He voted for the resolution, and he joins us tonight. Dan, thanks for coming on. Oh, thank you, Tucker, for having me. Dan Kalb, thank you so much. And so I just want to, I want to lead with something that just came across the wires, and it's, I'm not even sure what to make of it, but this comes from um, the Senate leader in your state, California, Kevin DeLeon from Los Angeles. Kevin DeLeon, yes. Yeah, President of the Senate. And he said this of the statement from the Attorney General about sanctuary cities, and I'm quoting, it has become abundantly clear that Attorney General Sessions and the Trump administration are basing their law enforcement policies on principles of white supremacy, not American values. I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. I don't know what to think of that. Let me ask you simply, do you agree with that? Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know the context of that statement. I'm focusing on, on Oakland, although many cities in the Bay Area and throughout California feel the same way we do. Uh, we want to protect, protect people who live here and work here and who are uh, otherwise doing their day-to-day -day work, day-to-day -day job. And so when you mentioned the workplaces, we are requesting, not requiring, that workplaces uh, call themselves or act in, in effect like a sanctuary workplace. Okay, I, I understand. That. Well, I, wait, can I skip back? This is the, the, the leader of your party in the California State Senate. I just want to ask, do you think it's legitimate to describe your opponents on this question, people who think that we ought to enforce federal immigration law, as white supremacists? Well, you know, there are a whole range of people throughout the country uh, who believe certain things. Some of them may, certainly may be white supremacists. I, I have no way of knowing. He's calling uh, I the can't Attorney say General all of, are, of the United States and the President of the United States white supremacists. This is not a fringe guy. This is the head Democrat in the California State Senate, the biggest state. So it's a significant statement. Yeah. It's not something we picked off the Internet. Yeah, I know Kevin. De, uh, yes, I know Kevin De Leon. He's a good guy. Uh, he, he's trying to defend the people of our state and his district, and I and I support him in that effort. I'm not calling any. I'm not calling a name to anybody individually. Uh, there are people who are all over the country who have certain positions, and some of them certainly might be white supremacists. Okay, I think but that's this, this kind of rhetoric you know just—it scares the hell out of people. It ends the conversation. It doesn't begin it. You can't have a rational conversation if people are throwing around terms like white supremacist, whatever that is. It's awful. I know that. So here, I, here's what I'm confused by. So if you're saying that employers ought to offer sanctuary to people who are working for them illegally, you're conceding that's okay when, of course, it's a violation of federal law to work using fake papers, a fake social security number. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not telling employers they should hire people who, are not, who they're not allowed to hire. We're just saying that whoever is working in a place of employment, a private place of employment, that we want to make sure people who show up for their work day in and day out can do their job without the fear of being dragged out and being split up from their families. That, that, that helps nobody. It doesn't help employers, doesn't help employees, doesn't help our local economy. We're, we're looking to make sure our, econ our economy thrives and that people who have jobs, whoever they are, are able to do their job without fear hang, hanging over their head. Employees want that, employers want that, and our local economy needs that. You know, not everybody wants that. So the Justice Department press release today came out addressing your city and cities like it and said that officials like you, and I'm quoting now, seem more concerned with reassuring illegal immigrants than with warning MS-13 members that they were next. In other words, they're focused on protecting people here illegally and not stopping illegal aliens who are committing crimes here. Do you think that describes you? Uh, you know, no, it doesn't. It's not one or the other. There are such a small percentage of people who might be undocumented who might be commit committing serious crimes. I mean, most people who commit crimes are not undocumented residents. They are people who have been here for a long time and are here legally. We all know that. That's, that's, not, that's not up for debate. That's but, the reality. But, but, but hold on, hold on. And, and, cri and crime is a... And crime is, a seri crime is a serious problem. No, no, no one's saying that crime isn't a serious problem in, in Oakland and every, every major city. And we want our police officers focused on responding to serious 911 calls, investigating violent crime, and reducing violent crime. And we yeah. don't want them distracted I've heard the talking uh, with other points, things. But you have right in front of you countervailing evidence, and it's this. ICE agents recently arrested 11 MS-13 members here illegally in the Bay Area. Now, by definition, they're part of a criminal cartel that murders people and sells children into prostitution. 
and they're here because nobody's enforcing the immigration laws. Yeah, were you, yeah, were you I, sad it, that they were picked up by ICE? No, no. Uh, if, somebody, if somebody is committing a violent crime and they're convicted of that crime, they should be dealt with harshly no matter who they are. And that has been the case not just in the current administration in D.C., but in the Obama administration as well. What I'm focusing on, uh, well, besides my uh, questions about housing and public safety overall, but in terms of making sure that people who are here who are otherwise law-abiding people are not the focus of our efforts. Our efforts need to be providing housing for people, okay. building our local economy. If someone's committing a violent crime, no matter who they are, they should be Dealt with, dealt with okay. harshly, but, but, as, but the as facts, be the, which, the, the facts, which I, I, I'm not sure if you're aware of them, but a huge percentage of the California state prison population is here illegally. Now, I'm not arguing that illegal aliens are more likely to commit a crime than native-born Americans, but they do commit a lot right. of crimes. They do, in the aggregate, a lot of crimes. And MS-13 and, and is if, a prime example, and yet they're not even mentioned on your website. I know so you got a whole public safety page on there, no mention of MS-13, and instead. You said, I'm quoting, you strongly support the creation of a comprehensive vegetative management plan to stop wildfires. Now, I think it sounds fine to me, but shouldn't you at least mention the fact that there's a real gang problem that's predicated on the presence of a lot of illegals? Uh, you know, uh, I've, I've talked with our police chief, uh, our former police chief, uh, numerous times, and, and Oakland, like many cities, have gang problems, most of those gang problems right. are not regarding undocumented residents, and everybody knows that. Uh, well, I now, don't if think there that's are examples, true. if it absolutely is true. If, every, if there are examples, specific examples, instances, exceptions, where a portion of some gang somewhere, or, or just an individual who is committing a violent crime and is convicted of that crime, happens to be undocumented, then by all means, they should be dealt with harshly just like anybody else. But the focus is that most people who are undocumented are not committing crimes other, other than jaywalking. And so, you know, let's, let's, not, let's not exaggerate the reality of the that's situation. A, that, that's a lie, as you know. And you just conceded it yourself. If you are here illegally and you are using a stolen social security number, and you are if you're working, then you are committing a felony published, punishable by five to ten years yeah. in prison. So, like, that's I, not, is that I, a small thing? To, can I, by the way, can I, I use to stolen focus on identity? Violent crimes. Oh, so we, only we violent crimes serious, count. We, we have serious and violent crimes in our, in, in our city and many cities all over the country, probably the city you live in as well, I'm sure. And, and we have to focus our police force and our police efforts and our law enforcement efforts on responding to serious 911 calls, uh, investigating murders or other serious and violent crimes, right. uh, and, and doing the good, good community policing efforts. I think you would agree with okay. that. I think we all okay, agree so, with that. So your police department in Oakland it, it is famously rife with problems. I think you had three police chiefs in eight days last year. Scandals, corruption. You're set to lose ago. over $5 million in federal funding if you don't change these policies. Will that make Oakland safer? Uh, we've we received no direct uh, communication that, we're, that any funding is at risk right now. If well, the Attorney General just said the case, it is. Uh, again, we've seen that we received no direct communication. If, if that funding is at risk, we will deal with it accordingly. I know there are lawsuits underway to prevent that from happening. I don't know what's going to happen there. All I can tell you right now is we're focusing on housing issues, on law enforcement, on public safety, uh, and on fire prevention in the hills. I'm sorry, as well. we're almost out of time. I, mean, I just there, you, there, you there said are many that twice. issues we want to focus housing on. Housing issues. So you're, people who are here illegally get free housing or subsidized housing in Oakland too? No, no, no. I'm, I'm talking about a broader set of issues that we care about in Oakland. I, I was but, making, but do I was they? Do people who are here illegally get subsidized housing, taxpayer subsidized housing in Oakland? Uh, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not aware of that, but I, I can't okay. say I'm, I'm, I have any, not, no, I know one okay, way or the other. Okay, good. I that. hope not. That'd be not, kind of crazy. Not, not aware of that. I, I yeah. don't know. Okay. But, but um, ha housing, housing overall is a, is a, is a big right. frontier. No, I got it. Law it enforcement, is. public safety, I mean, you, you know that. And, and, and so we're trying All to make right. sure that... We're trying, we're trying to make sure that people who have a job are able to do their job no, and I, that employers are, are not, people don't right. get pulled no, out. You said it. I'm sorry out, to cut you off, families. But, but I yeah. heard you and I, and I appreciate your coming on tonight. Thank you.